What's up, YouTube? This your boy FTM One C. Everybody's out doing doing out there. Your guys are safe or not? But um, I haven't done a video in a, like I said a couple weeks because I've been working. I'm blessed to have a job. Um, I'm going to do a review on some shoes I picked up, but I also want you guys to stick around to the end because I'm going to ask you guys something and how you feel about this idea. So, uh, let me start by saying, hello, how y'all doing? Got team in the house. And I did pick up a couple things um, from our couple things, one pair from our local Nike clearance store and a couple from a local boutique. So, um, hold tight let me show you okay and yes i am physically back in the lab so let me just turn this around there you have it that's one pair these are from the boutiques okay peep this these are the white concords with the number 45 on the back these are a size 11 i bought these at a reasonable price I bought these for like 80 bucks and I just, I just, as of right now, finish th this shoe with, you already know, Rejuvenator. And no, I am not being, spot I'm not spot been sponsored by the Rejuvenator. This is on my own. I did this, I picked this Rejuvenator up about a month ago and uh, I use them on this shoe. Now, as you can see, the difference between this shoe here that has been clean. Oh, this stuff is wasting on my fingers too. Um, so this rejuvenator on this shoe here, which I had clean with the rejuvenator pod, the rejuvenator bag. <sighs> Majority of the utensils over there with uh, like a special lint pit brush. Um, one of those lint cutters and that's the other shoe pad for the uh, shoe sole for this shoe. Now, I haven't done this shoe yet. As you can see, there is a big difference. This one is still dirty. So I'm gonna put this one right here and I'm gonna move this one up here. As you can see, the difference. This is much wider than that one. So Rejuvenator does work, okay? It does work and just a little elbow grease and a little time. And uh, I should have these. This, these looking, this one looking like this one. Also, just to give you guys a hint of what I'm gonna do with the bottoms of my shoes, I picked Salon Care 40. And there was some other stuff I got from the Salon that helps bleach the stuff. So I made my little concoction right here. So I'm going to do the bottoms of those and see how good they are. I'm just hoping the sun comes out. Another pair of shoes I picked up was <clears throat> the Jordan 7s. Am I right? 7, 6, 7, 8, 1, and 2. <laughs> 1 on 3. Um, I did pick these up from the boutique also, the same place I got these from. These were worse than what they look now. I had went over with Rejuvenator, went and washed them. Uh, they had a little water... I guess you want to call it a mold or mildew or whatever, but I did clean them off. Um, the other, the right side of the shoe is outside with the Salon Care solution I made up. And I'm going to do a video comparison of those two to show you how clear it has gotten. So I'm trying to catch as much of the sun as I can today. Um... I need to clean that a little bit more before I put the solution on. But these were a lot worse than what they, what they look right now. I mean, right now, the way I got them, they're pretty, pretty clean, pristine. I mean, almost to the point where you could say out of the box pristine, but I'm not going to say that. I had to get some new insoles because I don't trust the insoles um, that came with these shoes because it was really, really, really bad. So after washing them a few times with rejuvenator and clean them up. I am going to 
say that Rejuvenate is a good brand. Um, but like I say, now it's a Salon Care 40 and a little bleach whitener that, come, that I got with it to see if it can whiten up the bottoms. That's a little damage right there. I don't think I can fix that unless I do a sole swap. So I'm not skilled for that yet. <clears throat> but as I can say, but as you can see, Rejuvenator does do a damn good job. And a little elbow grease. Yeah, right here. The guns, baby. No, I'm just joking. As you can see right there, just a little cleaning here and there. Uh, like I say, these have not been cleaned off, brushed off or anything. As you can see, the bottoms here are still dirty. Uh, and these here, the bottoms have been cleaned. You know, stones, a little, a little dirt right there, but I get that up. But I have cleaned these. And these will be set outside maybe tomorrow. Then so to these, I did brush these off, cleaned them. Uh, a little damage right there. Uh, I'm gonna use this here to cut off the top snags right here and here. I did do the bottoms here. So I did clean those a lot better than what they were before. I don't know what people be walking into because they got more animal hair in these shoes. I know it's gross, but hey, trust me, you think it's gross, be the one on the end cleaning them. Okay, so now, my Nike clearance pickup was a couple days ago. I picked up something that I felt right now should be a statement in the situations that's going on as of today in the Black Lives Matter. Um, yes, I understand. Everybody in life does matter, and I agree. But because to right now it's focusing on Black Lives Matter, that's what the topic is we're going to stand on. We're going to stand on this topic. So what I did was I ended up buying these, the Black History Air Force Ones. And I got these for $40, dollars because it was my birthday coming up too, and I got a ten percent off of that. Plus, I guess a Labor Day, uh, Labor Day sale. And as you can see, they're on DS. Uh, some people do not like them. Some people do like them. I do think it is a difference, a fashion stand uh, statement because it is different. Like I say, Virgil, he he thinks outside the box. It's just it's just are you the type of person that would also stand outside of the box to style them i am i think i don't really care what people think i i do like these they're different but i add a little touch to my to uh because i do draw i do know how to draw but uh i call myself using some ideas and i made a stencil so what i did here was the fabric here which is some kind of rubber like a almost like a range of jacket type material it was right here as you can see the outline here i cut that off all the way around to reveal the leather and i guess you can also remove the red swoosh or the strings that holds it in place but i'm not going to do that because i'm afraid if i remove this that the same sewing thread thread that's sewn through here can also be the same as holding the orange or yellow. It's orange, orange swoosh in the back. So I'm not going to do that. But what I did do, as you can see, I call myself taking the covers that comes with the shoes and the red color. And I drew the hand fist for Black Power, represent Black Power, and Black Lives Matter. So I did add that on this shoe. I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to do the identical thing I did with this, but I'm going to put something different on this one. So when I do wear this, when I do wear these, I'm sorry, the pair, this will say, this will show this one, and this will show the other surprise I want to put on there. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to end this video. I'm going to end the, uh, my pickups. So let me give you a breakdown. These at the local Nike clearance shop, and please check Please go to your, near, your local Nike clearance store because you never know what you might find. I got some other stuff I want to show you also that I picked up at reasonable price. And it will blow you away. But 
we'll go to another video. We'll, we'll, I'll talk to you on another video, video on that one. But so far, these were 49. That's including the 10% on the additional that I got for my birthday. Those are like 79 that I bought and cleaned up. And those, well, this shoe with the other pair, the other shoe that's outside cost me 55. So for one pair of shoe, I bought three. So please, if you have, if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. The subscription, the subscri subscribing to my videos, let me know I'm doing something right. And for those who have watched my videos, thank you very much. I try to to return each and every comment back to everybody who has left want to ask questions. Uh, the sub bro, sub bros, sub bros cases. I have not. I have tried to get in contact with the person in charge of those. Haven't heard anything back from them because they're a busy person, and I also work, so we keep missing each other. So that's the problem I have. Thank you for the ones who reached out and said that there were cases like them that you can get them cheaper. So I'm gonna try to look for that too. Um, I also mentioned at the beginning of the video, and uh, let me turn this around because I know you guys probably keep looking to. Okay, I also said at the beginning of the video, I wish that um, I want, would like for you guys to stick around. I didn't want to bore you at first, but I just want to give a pretty good idea. Um, right now, we're on unprecedented times, and a lot of people are losing their homes. Um, I am blessed, and I hope there's a few other people out there that's blessed too. They still have their job and still be able to pay for everything. I know some of us are barely hanging on. I know that feeling because I've been there, done that, and kind of sort of still on the edge. On the cusp, I'm sorry. So we're sitting up here waiting on Congress to come up with a solution to try to come up with some idea to put out another stimulus. Um, not too long ago today, I remember here. I just remember listening to the news and they said, well, they're trying to go on vacation. And that kills me because there are people out here that can't even go afford a vacation. Some people can't even afford a house the roof to put that shelters them or uh, transportation. Uh, my mom used to say people can't afford the window, the pot to piss in or the window to throw it out. So I'm sorry. I hope this don't get demonetized, but it's the truth. And right now, that comment was only used for people who didn't, I guess, do the right thing to keep a roof over their heads. Now, people are doing the right thing and still can't keep a roof over their heads. So... My idea is, I think as Americans, if we're the greatest country that so-called number 45 keeps saying, then why don't we all come together and don't even worry about Congress, just us. For every man and woman and child, if you want to participate, we should come up with a fund me, our own fund me, where we get an accountant or somebody or some bank that will honestly help out and that we all take one dollar, one dollar out of our pockets and put it into that account and use that account to help fund those people who are unfortunate right now because they need the money to afford to pay for these things that they need, food, shelter, transportation. Um, unfortunately, I can come up with the idea, but I don't have the power or the knowledge, I shouldn't say the knowledge, I just don't know the people who could, I could reach out to who could help with a, with a solution like that. And I think not only that, every dollar should be able to help those who are suffering um, in Black Lives Matter also too. So if we're American and we're the greatest country, then we should show even our government that we're better than them we should come together and come up with solutions. So, I don't know. Uh, I'm just one man. You know, obviously, one man starts starts the snowball effect. So, if you guys are out there right now watching my video, like I say, like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, subscribe at the bottom, and let me know what you think. Um, i like to hear your thoughts, your ideas, or how you feel about this whole situation, and uh, pickups. So I want to try to do another video probably tomorrow. So stay safe out there. Wash your hands. Put your damn mask on. It's not about you. It's about the other person who got to go home to somebody who is in, in a worse position, position, not position, worse health situation than we are or elderly. So respect our elders. Protect them. I'm out, y'all. Peace. Love.